to start this hairstyle with a center part. I have actually parted her hair on the side, on the top, and then it comes straight down in the back. And I am also working with damp hair, which helps with flyaways. That isn't absolutely necessary, but it will help to keep your braids smooth. So I'm going to take one half of her hair and start with a French braid. So I'm grabbing a section here in the front, and I'm going to split this hair into three. Point, I'm just braiding normally. I'm bringing the strands on the outside over the middle strand and I'm bringing in hair from both the top and the bottom of the braid. But when I'm here on the top, I'm going to remove a small strand of hair before I cross that over. And I'm just going to do that every time on the top strand. I'm going to braid the bottom normally and then every time I bring in a strand on the top, I'm going to remove a small piece of hair first. So I'm basically just feathering the braid on one side. Okay, now that I've added in all of that extra hair, I'm just going to continue braiding regularly all the way to the bottom. the braid should look like at this point. I have all of these feathered strands that I left out from the top of the braid. I'm going to put those to the side for now and I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm just going to leave a feathered strand out on the top of this braid as well and then we'll go to the next part. both of those braids completed, I'm going to take these feathered strands that we left out and make a fishtail braid with them. So to do that, I'm just going to take like the top two feathered strands on each side and I'm going to bring them together in the middle. So I have a right strand and a left strand. I'm going to start with the strand on the right and I'm breaking off a small piece on the outside of that and I'm going to cross it over to the strand on the left. And then I'm going to take a small strand from the left and cross it over to the right. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I've used up all of this hair. So again, I'm taking a strand from the right, I'm crossing it over to the left, and then a strand from the left over to the right. So I'm down to the last strand on each side. You can see they're kind of separate from the braid. I'm just going to go ahead and cross those over and now I'm going to start incorporating the rest of these feathered strands. And as you can see, I'm not making this tight at all. You don't want the braid like clear up here on top. I'm letting it hang down a little bit and hang loose. So now I'm going to start with the next feathered strand down and I'm going to split that in half. Bring one of the halves over to the other side. And then same thing over here. And I'm just going to continue that all the way down. So I'm going to finish with the other half on each side. And now I'm going to split the next one in half and just keep going like that until I run out of all of the feathered strands. Okay, at this point I've added in all of those feathered strands. So now I'm just going to continue with a regular fishtail braid all the way to the bottom. So to do that, I'm just breaking off a small strand from each side and crossing it over. When you finish this fishtail braid, you'll want to tie it off with a temporary elastic. And then the last step, I'm just going to take these two braids on the side. I'm going to cross them over the top of that fishtail and then underneath. And I'm just going to tie everything together here at the bottom.